Hey everybody, it has been a while since I have done a reaction video. Um, you guys will probably see a bunch of uploads, but it's been a while since I've actually recorded one. So I'm going to start off with Chantal, then work my way to Amberlynn, and then do see if Amy, I think Amy has some, and Jen, I don't know, she hasn't really updated it, so. You might see a lot of me in this shirt, because I'm going to try to do as many as I can tonight. Um, I sped this up a little bit, um, so I'm going to see what it says, and we'll go from there of an introduction to preface what's going to happen in the video you're going to see me eating things and doing things and um i just want to kind of explain a bit about all right before she explains anything um i'm not surprised she already cut the whole fruitarian thing like whatever so i figured that was her path to going back to the same way uh she's always trying to justify it but really she's just lazy she doesn't want to she doesn't want to do it it's hard, believe me, I know. I've been battling it a lot myself, just trying to get my diet to where it needs to be. This past week, I actually didn't do all that great. I thought I had, and then I looked at my calorie intake, and I was like, wow, yeah, no, my calories are pretty bad. Um, so I did gain a few, a couple of pounds. I think it was like two or three. Um, so I get it, but I'm not making any excuses. I'm not trying to say, oh, da da da, and I'm keep trying. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna eat unhealthy forever and not try where she just gives up completely I mean you could tell by the fact that she changed her name back to foodie beauty so what I'm doing right now because I feel like I kind of owe you guys a bit of an update um, because I've been so confusing uh, lately but always <laughs> but more than usual and um, so I started playing with my hair I, I don't know I just I like not to do more that. Than usual. <laughs> yes. So I had an appointment today with my psychiatrist, and this is a psychiatrist um, uh, who's part of an eating disorders program. And um, despite me feeling like I'm not getting enough out of it, for me, psychiatrists, I feel like, like I said, I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of help. Yeah, because she's probably not open to getting the help. I'm sure the psychiatrist is giving her great advice, but if she's sitting there thinking she knows everything, then of course she's not going to get any help or pointing towards help. Um, I could talk more about it in another video. So anyways, that's not what I wanna talk about today. Um, what I wanted to talk about was just letting you know that, you know, I talked to them a lot about my issues with food and my recent wanting to, you know, go right, jump right into fruitarianism and everything else, all, you know, all that stuff. And I don't wanna say crazy because I think that I'm not going to dismiss any lifestyle that people choose but um they did make me see that you know he was like no 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 um why you know he's like why can't you just do what i'm telling you to do yeah exactly why can't you just do what they're telling you to do she always tries to do her own thing and then it backfires on her yeah of course it's going to because you don't know what the heck you're doing and you think you do and you don't and you just stop that and act stop acting like you're the end-all be-all of all the information of everything that has to do with weight loss. You're not. Like, you need to stop that. But she's so arrogant that she just thinks she knows better. Um, so, it's like, I don't want you to focus on, I don't even want you to focus on weight loss right now. I only want you to focus on your bin, the binge eating. Because that's what, like, people, you know, I do eat on mukbangs, but people don't see the damage I do off camera. And that is part of the binge eating, is that I do it in secret. I do it not usually around people, um, you know, like ordering Uber Eats at two in the morning, you know, I would be ordering, it. it's gotten so bad, like, I would, like, order Uber Eats, like, three times a day, Jeez. um, so, I, that, just focusing on stopping that, you know, uh, like, when I told him about the Uber Eats, he looked really worried about me, and, um, as he should, we're all worried, but nobody can do anything to help you until you're willing to help yourself and I really don't feel like you are because if you were you'd already have been taking his advice or her advice I think it's I think it was a he I'm not paying all that much attention I mean my mind goes in and out when I listen to her talk sorry um but anyway like if you just do what they're telling you to do you can at least show that there's some effort so only thing I'm focusing on no fast food no binge eating so he's like if you want to go he's like i don't want you to stress about food just no binging so like basically if i want to have a popcorn at a small pop a popcorn at the theater have a small popcorn so the popcorn i'm going to eat 
I did have some popcorn at the movie tonight, and I ate half. I got a small popcorn, I only ate half, so maybe two cups or something, two or three cups. So it's just those little, little changes that are going to add up and make a significant, even if they make small differences. Um, now, the weight loss will be supposedly a byproduct of that, because if you're binging every day, um, and you take that away, you're going to have some initial weight loss. So even if I do two pounds a week, that's not an overly ambitious goal, but it's something that over goal. the year, it's 96 pounds or so, you know? It's a really good goal, but you have to stick with it, and you have to stick with the letter for a plan that you get put on, because if not, then there's absolutely no point. Um, so, that's a big jump weight. So, I kind of feel relieved because I'm always stressing. It's like I can't control it. It's like I can't stop it. But with um, the cognitive behavior therapy methods I'm, I've been doing, I really mm -hmm. am more cognitive, aware of catching myself when I'm starting to think in a disordered way. Yeah, I kind of doubt that because you are pretty disordered like 99% of the time and it has nothing to do with your food issues or whatever. There's just something about you that I don't know what it is, but oh, you need a lot of work. Like sometimes, you know, that uh, skeptical part of me just feels like you're hopeless and it's sad because I don't think anyone should be hopeless. You know, everyone has a chance to do better. But, I don't know, you're just like, ugh. Just like, come on. Stop your BS and get it together. Like, you're gonna die young if you keep this up. It's just gonna happen. There's no doubt in my mind. You're gonna die. And then what? What kind of life has you lived? Because it obviously hasn't been a very productive one. So, like, what, don't you want to get more out of your life? Do more? See more things before you die? Um unrealistic things you know so I'm working on it so I just wanted to update you on that the thing with my health issue that I was gonna tell you guys about I'm gonna tell you in my next story time in a video um, so yeah so what you're gonna see me eat things on this channel um, it's not going to be like always fast food um, this is the only planned eating out that I've had for his birthday which I forgot about kind of but you know what I mean like we, we usually do that on birthdays treat each other for dinner or whatever so the eating out is going to be special occasions. It's not going to be for videos. Um, I promise, you know, I'm good myself, I'm going to be cooking on these videos. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I feel really good. I feel really positive. I feel really happy today. Um, I think that multivitamin is really helping. Might take a while. But it's like I, I doubt it's the multivitamin. Like, they're not miracle workers or anything like that. Like, it's not going to make you feel better. Uh, maybe it was just talking to the nutritionist and it give you, or the therapist or whatever it gave you some help uh some hope you know which is good but uh, i don't know it's like eating on camera at all i feel like should be something you don't do like you amberlynn you both need to stop that you really do it's just bs amberlynn has so many dang mukbangs i've already responded to three of them oh i just don't know i don't know if i can watch you guys eat but at least you're not eating throughout this whole video that at least saves me some some of my sanity that i, I sort of have left I get a boost of energy or something. I don't know. I've, I've had energy all day. I haven't been like laying in bed depressed watching Love Whatever. Island. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, and I think it's just that every time I say no, like on the way home, my, my mind just thought automatically McDonald's on the way home, you know? And I would sit in my car and binge on McDonald's before coming in. But no, it's like I had my dinner. That feeling is going to pass. And it's like, um, like in Brain Over Binge, they say like the reptilian part of your brain, these are just urges that come from the reptilian part of your brain, but, or the animal part of your brain, but the higher consciousness of you as a human being can say, no, it doesn't have to get in. And that's what I'm trying to really, I'm trying to like use every tool available to me. I'm trying to read all these books of people who have success coming, overcoming binge eating and stuff like that. So I think once I can tackle that, I can worry more about um, eliminating food groups, um, eliminating, you know, going more into plant-based and stuff like that. So I am eating meat and in this video, um, I'm not going to go, I promise, okay guys, I'm not going to say, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, no more diet announcement. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts, like, a week, I give it a week, we'll see. But, whatever, like, who cares, if you're not, you're not doing the fruitarian thing, whatever, like, nobody cares if you're eating meat, because obviously, you're not sticking to any kind of limiting diet, which is fine, because it doesn't work for everybody, but I feel like, yeah, you need to stop with these stupid fad diets that you keep going on because they're BS and it's not like it's like what's the point of having a therapist 
who's supposed to help you with your eating disorders if you don't listen to them? Like, what's the point? Doing everything that they're not telling you to do. It's like, that's stupid. Really. You make such stupid decisions about your own life. You're a freaking grown-ass adult. You need to start doing better. Videos. And I want to apologize to those of you who I may have blocked or gotten really snippy with, um, defensive with viewers who were like, I don't think it's right, good for you to eliminate food groups. And, and I get defensive a lot um, because yeah, no, I get like that when, I'm, when I know I'm wrong about something. So, um, yeah. Anyway, which is like all the time you get defensive, you block comments and then you're like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. And then you do it again. It's like, yeah, sorry, but don't believe you. You're not changing. Like now, it, instead of me rooting for you, you need to prove me wrong. And at this point, I don't believe in you. Sorry. I lost my hope in you. I lost all of it because of you. You just you're so freaking frustrating. Like. I'm glad I'm not monetized because I just want to cuss all the time when I talk about you now. <laughs> like, you are yourself freaking, freaking, just frustrating. You have no idea. So I just wanted to share that with you because just so you know what's going on. You're not going to be totally surprised and be like, you're not supposed to be eating theater popcorn. Because have it, half of a small theater popcorn or else, you know, go without and then want to binge later or something. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm just, I am listening to my doctor. And follow him. I thought you were like, well, half of a small popcorn is only this, this, this. I was like, shut up. Like, just shut up. Like, every time, from here on out, every time she starts talking about, like, oh, but this is good because of this, and acting like Miss Know It All, I'm just going to tell her to shut up. Like, shut up, Chantel. Like, nobody cares what you have to say. You're, you're a dumb little multivitamin. Like, you're not you, <clears throat> a nutritionist. You're not someone that people are like, ooh, let's look at what Chantal's eating so that we can be just like her. Oh, what kind of vitamins is she taking to be healthy? Yeah, no one cares. Like, you are not the epitome of health and well-being. So, stop trying to act like you are. Directions. Step one, you know, step one, eliminate the fast food. Um, work on, whenever we have a binge urge, I have these exercises that I do, which I can talk about more in another video. Um, that he told me to do so uh other than that it's just a struggle of struggling with yourself you know it's not just no matter how many tools i have i have to just completely ignore these urges yeah and um i have my water for the night and it's not like anyone's saying it's easy of course it's not very easy no one would be obese of course it's difficult as hell but it's worth it i'm done eating that was good those the smart sweets so usually they would get a bag of candy and a large popcorn. Now the bag of candy probably has what, like over 300 calories for half the bag or something, but the Smart Sweets, you get your gummy candy fix. Um, there's three grams of sugar for the entire bag. 90, uh, I think 80 or 90 calories for the entire bag, which isn't a huge bag. Um, and it has like 30 grams of fiber, which is like your, all you need. Women need like 25 grams a day, you know? So anyways, it's with- I don't know what Smart Sweets so is. I don't know what Smart Sweets is. Do they have that here in the US? vlog from the day and um i have i got my fab fit fun spring box and i think rena i've asked her she hasn't replied yet but it's late i've asked her to come over this weekend and maybe we can do an unboxing together and i'm gonna make her dinner and yeah see that would be interesting that's something you don't do all the time and that would be something worth watching watching you eat every video would not be a great idea at all please don't do that but fab fit fun i mean there are so many fun things you could do that would make your video so much more interesting and make you less boring. Like, you're so boring. I'm sorry. You're so boring. Your life is boring. Like, oh, I don't know. I feel like that's what why you enjoy the drama because it gives your life some kind of meaning. Because it is boring. But like, have been fun. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, I just feel a lot more positive. Knock on wood. <laughs> so, um, I know I'm not always gonna feel positive, but the important thing to do is um, how to. How to how to react to it how to deal with it because that's what you you know you need to, you can't survive if you don't know how to re how to deal with things and i'm finally feeling like i'm you know slowly getting there um so yeah anyway um i guess that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys hey guys i'm hyper today <laughs> i feel so good i feel uh, okay first off if you're gonna be on video you should wear a shirt it does not look like you're wearing one no one needs to see that. Like, why? It would have taken you five minutes to put a shirt on. Like, do you think I wore this all day? No. I dressed up because I knew I'd be on camera. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should look a little nice. Like, come on.
That drives me nuts. Cleaned out because TMI, but uh, I saw an all night in the bathroom because yeah. of that. Oh, I can't even think of the broccoli without feeling sick. That did a number on my digestive system. Word of the day, digestive system. So I look greasy. It's because I was using, I am using, this vitamin enzyme mask, Mary Ruth's. I'm gonna give it a try, see if it works. And I have here, you guys haven't seen this llama in a while. Um, it's not Barack Obama anymore. It is now called Lewis after Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, don't come for me if Daniel Day-Lewis has been in any scandals that I don't, I don't know. I don't pay attention to celebrity gossip or celebrity news. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I have Sam here, big bum. Uh, so yeah, so I had, I don't know if it's because I was like dehydrated, but in the middle of the night I had um, some bad leg cramps. So I got up. See, I don't know, like her and Amberlynn just drive me nuts. It's like, come on, really? You're holding your camera? Like she's literally just holding the camera. She's probably naked or half naked or whatever. Couldn't even bother, be bothered to get dressed or prop it up on a tripod. And she's it's over here just shaking the whole time. I'm like, look, no, I know. Mine sits on my lap. But at least it sits on my lap. I can move my hands. It's not going to really go too far. Uh, of course, if I move too much of my legs, then yeah, of course. But, like, come on, girl. Like, I hate that. Like, this is their freaking living. This is not my living. I do this for fun. So, I try to get my videos as good as they can be. I edit them. I add music. I do all this sort of thing. But this is not my uh, job. I have a job. This is my hobby. So yeah, I can't put as much time and effort into it as, as I'd like to. She absolutely can. I literally come home, I do my homework, that's what I did, I finished, and now I've got a couple hours to literally record a bunch of videos and hopefully render some before I go to bed. That's about it, so. Up and I drank uh, some coconut water and that actually seemed to really help. So if you have leg cramps, try that. Um, yeah, help. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go in the shower and get ready. No, I'm not getting ready for Pete. It's his birthday. It's Pete's birthday today. I forgot. Yeah, you could have taken your shower first and then recorded the video. Like, why? Why? We want to see your greasy self. Like, sorry. That. It's Pete's birthday today, so we are going to... I don't even know what we're going to do. We're getting, like, a snowstorm, but um, he doesn't want to make a big deal out of it, so we might just do dinner and a movie. I don't even know. So it's going to be more of, like, a vlog, I guess, kind of day. That's uh, fine. And I'm using this llama because I'm very naked right now, so... Yeah, no... Yeah. Yeah, we kind of figured that one out when we didn't see a shirt and the fact that you were hiding yourself, but yeah, okay. Doing you all a favor. <laughs> thank you. So God, anyways, you. what was I going to say? I just feel better when I'm like, you know, I have, I've showered, have my hair done, everything, so. Then go do that. That's what I'm going to do. See, why? No one wants to see this. No one cares. Like, come on. Edit this stuff out. Like, no one wants to see you meditating. Like, it's not interesting. Like, at all. And I swear, if this is like minutes long, this woman's gonna, she can give me a friggin' hernia or uh, what is it? My brain can't think of the uh, embolism or something. Like, I'm gonna just, ugh, all of it. So, see you guys. Hi. So, see, see you guys. this is sped up. Clip. Imagine. I gotta go wash this stuff off my face. So far, it's very brightening, but it's probably just. <sighs> so, see you soon. All right, so. Better. Just got a bit of makeup on. Because the thing is, like, she looks cute. I like when she wears makeup because I think she like, actually looks pretty cute with her makeup on. But, and that's the thing, too. Like, I know what I said earlier was, like, it seems mean. I'm not saying that, okay, I don't know how I worded it before because I can't remember. But I'm not saying that they're ugly. They're not ugly people. That's the thing. She's not ugly. But she's, her looks have diminished because of the extra weight. They're diminished by the extra weight. But I'm not saying she's not a pretty... She is pretty. Like, honestly, I think so. I think she is actually pretty. I like when she wears her makeup, the way she looks right there, except for this pause, because of that smile she's got going on. But, like, her and Amberlynn, like, when they wear makeup and they, like, really do themselves up, they look very pretty. And I'm not going to take that from that. But I still feel like that extra weight does not help their looks at all. It really doesn't. And, oh, God, my hair is... I have a little, like, not thick hair, but it does grow fast with the little hair that I do have. So I'm gonna head out. I'm not sure about the movie. I'll talk to Pete and see what he says. It is his birthday, but I don't, I'm personally not really in the mood for a movie, but we'll see. And uh, I'm birthday. sure we're gonna go to dinner because that's what you do on birthdays, I guess. And I'll see uh, what. Not always. You can stay at home and eat a healthy meal if you really wanted to. Like, the birthdays are what you make them. Options they have there. Um, Bibi's gonna stay home. <laughs> right, Bibi? Bibi's gonna stay home. Yeah. <laughs> and, um. Which is funny because he never goes. I can't. I, I still, like, I always say, what do these two have in common? Like, really, they never go out together, they never do anything together. It's always her and Pete's. 
I'd be like, I don't even know why her and Pete's broke up. Like, it makes no sense to me. They're like BFFs, always hanging out together, always doing stuff together. I mean, is it because of... Like, does she notice his creepy factor? Like, really? Like, does she see it? Because he is creepy. He's like... He's almost neckbeardish. And I don't know if you guys know what that term is, but I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos on it. And it's basically like those guys who walk around with trench coats and carry swords and act like they're samurais or something like that. Uh, I don't know how his attitude is towards women, but he kind of has a neck beardy way about him. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm just wearing a sweater, like to go out. It's like minus like 15. <laughs> the weather's horrible, so uh, we'll see. We're supposed to go down to our hometown to see Pete's mom, which is like an hour and a half away or so. So, but the roads are gonna be too bad, especially this one country road. We have to drive down to get there. It's gonna be like way too, too bad. I just know from experience. So we're just gonna stay in town and I'm just gonna drive slow. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing a sweater even though it's freezing because as a bigger person, I never, <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. I know there's a lot of bigger people who still get really cold. So yeah. um, I think it's I just do. me because I'm hot blooded. I'm hot blooded. No, please don't. God, please don't. Don't wanna hear it. But I think I passed that good moment. I can't hear her sing. But yeah, I get cold. I'm always cold. Like, and that, that worries me because when I actually start getting my weight back, back on track and losing weight, I'm going to get real cold a lot. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that. Check it and see. I don't like that song. Maybe because it's yeah. overplayed. I don't know. But every time I hear it, I kind of cringe. And I'm sure every time you hear me sing, I kind of cringe. So, yep. there you have it. All right. So, anyways, um, yes, I'm going to head out now and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Pete's going into the comic shop there. Get his weekly comics. Every, usually every Thursday or something. That's the bus blocking the view. I love how she doesn't go in with him. Like, you could have gone out and gone with him, like, unless you aren't supposed to be parked wherever you're at. I don't know. Of all the people. Pretty sure beside that, Venus Envy is a sex toy shop. It's starting right? to snow. The weather's going to be bad. I'm hungry. Happy birthday to you, Pete. I am 35 today. Yep, no geezer. Yep. So we're <laughs> you feel any older? Pretty sure I'm, uh, pretty sure this is, uh, middle age. Like, I'm, like, halfway through my life. Well, it could Given be. Given the way I eat. Yeah, you eat microwave everything. Yeah. You don't eat any I don't fresh take, vegetables. I don't take any care of my uh, health, so. No multivitamen? Yeah, so they can, uh, like, At your middle them. age? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of wonder, and I don't know if there was it, I wonder if Pete's, like, has, like, some court, sort of, um, social... Or developmental, I don't know, issues with himself. Like, I don't know. It's just, he ha seems like he does. Like, maybe he's, I guess maybe it's just an awkwardness that he has. But I feel like maybe it's something a little, like, that's been diagnosed that they've not talked about. Or maybe they have talked about it and I just don't know. Because, I don't know, I just get that vibe from him. That's the midpoint of my life. Are you okay with that? No, I'm going to live forever. Well, I blow my brain into a... Uh, and I noticed that he does a lot of the tracking with his eyes. I forget what that's a sign of. Um, I I can't remember uh, the tracking, but yeah, I don't know. It's like the Matrix. I'm fun living in the Matrix. Shit, he's my brain. He's my body's battery. I don't care. Just upload like brain. Keep me thinking I'm alive. For somebody who wants to live forever, you sure don't eat any vegetables. Nope. That's one of the happy. So we're gonna go see the. Is it the gentleman? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. May as well. Yep. Yes, sir. So we're just at La Fon Rouge, getting ribs and, um, and a baked potato for me. We're both getting ribs actually. Some water. I know what you're thinking, aspiring vegan, eating ribs. For food is boring. Oh, please. You're not going to be a vegan. Like, nobody, nobody thinks that. Like, come on, aspiring vegan, my butt. That girl, she's delusional. You know, but Pete's showing me some cute uh, Twitter. You're on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter animal pics. He always saves for me animal videos because he knows I'd like them, right? Yep. And he even asked for extra ice in my drink when I was in the bathroom. He knows me. <laughs> well, we've known each other since like high school, so you know me well. Which is why I don't understand like why you're not just dating. Like it would make more sense. Like them dating makes a lot more sense than her baby, like to me anyway. But so, are you having a nice birthday so far? Sure. That's good. Awkward. <laughs> Here's a good one he's got here. Just make sure we get the uh, the person I thought. Oh yeah, sure. Give them a shout out. Yeah. It's okay if you fall apart sometimes. Tacos fall apart. I still love them. Yeah, that person posts a lot of good memes and videos That's and cute. things. Okay, so check them out. <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. You don't say. 
All right, our food's here. He's got fries and slaw. This is the smallest order of ribs they have. Jeez. And how it's and Ooh, potato loaded. Well, guys. Man, now I kind of want to make a potato. <laughs> I already ate dinner, but I'm still kind of hungry for something. I don't know. Let's see. I'm bringing this home because there's some leftovers here, so oh, it's I'm going to take the ribs home. Yes, yes. Hey, guys. Sorry for the lighting. Whew. I just want to say... Let me breathe. I just want to say... I know how stupid I sound always. You know, when I do peace to my audience, I always say, I'm going vegan, I'm going fruitarian. And then I show myself eating ribs, so. For the record, she's been like this forever. Yeah. Like, even before YouTube, so. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> so, for as long as I've known her. And that's, like, 2002. Yeah. So, so I mean, I'm just going to, just to, you know, I'm just going to keep all that to myself. I'm just going to do what I got to do and... You know, not enough of these crazy things I'm doing or these drastic changes I'm going to be doing. I'm not saying that, you know, going vegan is crazy. I'm just saying that it's just obviously sure. not something that I'm obviously ready to do because if I really was, I would be doing it, right? So, um, yeah. but I will definitely just keep those things to myself to avoid confusion and, you know, embarrassment because I look like an idiot and to avoid pissing people off because I don't want to do that. I don't want, you know, to seem insensitive. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we got to get to the movie. It's 8, it's 8 13. While we're talking about stupid things you do, audience, back me up on this. Whenever she draws me off, she tells me it's been a slice. Yeah. Back me up. No should I drop her? As, should I drop her as a friend? <laughs> no one's gonna back you up because that's a saying. That's a common saying. It's been a slice. Nope. In case, it, we found out. No, not here in the U.S. Uh, maybe in Canada, but it ain't here. Like that sounds like something that maybe they would have said in the '80s, but not now. Definitely not now. I remembered something that Pete hates. Tell them what you hate. Silly. He hates to be silly. So every time we're in a grocery store and we're in the pasta aisle, which isn't very often, but I think it happened once since, but we're in the pasta aisle and we see a fusilli and I'm like, you don't like fusilli. And I'll be like, I hate fusilli. I hate fusilli. We're weird. I'm like, wait, what was I do? I hate fusilli. He did the first I hate fusilli. Yeah, the first one. I rubbed off on him when we lived together. Right. So now he's broken. She's contagious. <laughs> contagious like a virus. Yeah, she's worse than the coronavirus. <laughs> We were talking about She's like a brain eating virus. We were talking about the coronavirus and like apparently like more people die from the regular flu than yeah, sixteen thousand people a year yeah. die from flu. Yeah, the coronavirus has just been hyped up because it's new and everyone's freaking out about it. But yeah, she's right. The flu kills more people. That's why people need to calm down. Yeah. Yeah. So I, didn't get my, I never get a flu shot. <laughs> I should, but I'm lazy. What did you say about the pe people who uh, are responsible yeah. for a brick of measles? Yeah, as people, I, I, a lot of people pointed this out on Twitter. But any country that has uh, the measles returning doesn't get to shit on diseases in other countries. Yeah, because there's a lot of flack. You know, a lot of people are being racist towards, you know, the Chinese and stuff like that because of that. And it's like, mm -mm. I think it's just like a lot of xenophobia happening because there's, a, you know, there's measles in our countries and there's the, the regular flu is killing more people. So it's just, you know what I mean? So that was something we were talking about. But anyways, we're going to mm -hmm. go to the movie. We're going to go see the Gentleman Guy Ritchie movie, like I've said a thousand times. And awesome. Vaccinate your kids. <laughs> also, if you're a certain age, you might need to get uh, your, vaccinate, uh, your vaccinations uh, re up. I know, I need to look into that. It's a phrase. Okay. Yeah, I think for the MMR, I think you have to get that again. I, have, I need to look into that. I had it as a kid, but I didn't get, haven't gotten it as an adult, so I might. It's just like boost. It's like a boost, and then you don't ever have to get it again. But yeah, you might need to uh, renew your uh, vaccinations. Um, apparently, the ones from like the late 70s, and I think maybe into the early, early 80s, I'm not sure, um, expired. Uh, so, I don't know, talk to a doctor to see if uh, you might need to renew your vaccinations if you're of a certain age. <laughs> Vaccinate your damn kids! Thanks for your lesson, Pete. <laughs> the more you know. Right? Right? So I got Make more than a living. Be proud of what you do. Smart speech, enter the trance. Where you can be proud of what you give. Feel much better. Proud of what you know. Hi everybody! Hi. <laughs> we are out of the movie. Pretty good movie, eh? Yeah, good. If you uh, like Guy Ritchie movies, you will like this one. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, he's really good at that. Okay, I really like her in glasses. I'm just gonna say it. Those are really cute glasses. Uh, I guess I don't know why she needs them. Like, if it's just for like watching movies or reading, but I'd say she looks really good in glasses. Like, I don't even know if I've ever seen her wear them or I just don't remember because I don't always pay attention I'm not even gonna lie I noticed that <laughs> that sometimes I don't pay attention because my like I'll just kind of go off into space like oh wait what'd she say but yeah I like those glasses on her actually those kinds of uh like criminal movies with lots of twists and blunders and fun characters yes Hugh Grant was great uh Colin Farrell was just so not Colin Farrell which was great yeah um 
uh, contact warning, there was uh, one scene with an completely unnecessary rape attempt. Don't spoil, no spoilers. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, really. I guess, yeah, I guess. It's a content warning. Trigger, trigger warning, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, um, but it was, uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. And plus, Eye Candy for the Ladies, it has Charlie Hunnam with his, doing his original accent, and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and there's a few other good-looking guys in there as well. Yeah. And, uh... Um, there is one, there are a couple of attractive women, but only one of them actually plays any role in the movie. <laughs> okay, my arms... She wears super high heels. My arms getting sore. Right. <laughs> to be continued. Anyways, go watch the movie, it's pretty good. Yep. And, um, so hope you had a good birthday, peace. Yep, now to go read comics. Yes, see you later. Bye. Okay, I mean, not a horrible video. Um, other than her eating the popcorn and like them going out for ribs, it wasn't like a mukbang or anything. So I'm thankful for that because God knows I've had my fill for like ever. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was cool. I mean, it's nice that they're good friends and that they're doing all these things together. But I don't know. I just don't understand why they broke up. I really don't. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.